grace of God has reached for me And pulled me from the raging sea And I am safe on the solid ground The Lord is my salvation I will not fear when darkness falls His strength will help me scale these walls I'll see the dawn of the rising sun The Lord is my salvation Who is like? And who is like the Lord our God? Strong to save, faithful in love. My debt is paid and the victory won. The Lord is my salvation. hidden in the Lord. He flowers each promise of His Word. When winter fades, I know spring will come. The Lord is my salvation. Times of waiting, times of need. When I know lost, when I am weak, I know His grace will renew these days. The Lord is my salvation.
Heavenly Father, we gather this morning to give you the best of what we have. All of our mind, all of our hearts, all of our soul, we give to you because you deserve our greatest worship. Lord, as the Christmas season begins, we remember the significance of Jesus' birth for us. Because he was God becoming human for us, we know that every man really does have a friend. That healing is available to our hearts. That right will ultimately triumph in a sinful and broken world. That all wars will one day come to an end. And that anyone who is in Christ can enjoy true love that will never end. Dear God, would you make these truths shine in our hearts this December? We all need it desperately. Some of us are carrying a tired body and a restless mind. Some of us are grieving over lost ones. Some of us are praying for conflicts to end in our relationships and our families. And some of us are fighting to find meaning in the mundane tasks that we repeat day after day. We know Christmas should give us joy and love and peace and hope. But our hearts don't always feel what our minds know it should feel. So Holy Spirit, please come and magnify the beauty of Jesus Christ this December. Because just as the Lord promised in John 16, the Holy Spirit come and glorify Him in our hearts so we can worship well this December. We pray for the church to faithfully live out what we know is true. We pray for anyone among us who has yet to trust God with their lives to do this this Christmas to do so. And we pray for every preacher this December who steps onto this podium to expound your word with a heart of reverence and the power of the Holy Spirit to make the true meaning of Christmas grip our hearts. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.